Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to our video discussion and our course. Na? So, for this video, we will present the introduction and the basic concept of our course, which is the engineering mechanic. So, I am your instructor, Engineer Edwin Rosalena. Okay, so mechanics and its branches. No? So, mechanics is the branch of science that deals with the conditions of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. Uh, so, this is about the state of motion or state of motion of a body either it is at rest or it is moving na? the body is at rest or the body is moving so the study of mechanics is divided into two parts and it is statics and dynamics so as of now we have the statics now we will first deal with statics and this is about the bodies at rest na? So, these are about bodies at rest. And the second part is about dynamics, which considers the motion of the bodies and the correlation of these motions with the forces causing them. Uh, so, a force is the mechanical interaction between two bodies that affects both the motion of the bodies and the deformation of the bodies. Uh, so, if we say we have two bodies that interact, uh, so, they exert forces to each other. Na? So, the effect is that the body will move or another effect is the body will deform. Na? But, in the study of mechanics, we have bodies at rest or in motion and we consider only the external effect of the forces to the body. So, we will not consider the formation and internal effect of the force acting on the body. Na? So, a force may be contact or applied or it can be filled or non-applied. So, when you say contact or applied force, uh, yung makikita natin applied force to the body. Na? Uh, so, let us say, if I will uh, apply a force on the table, no? if I apply a force on a book or something, no? so the force I am applied is contact or applied. No? We call it contact or applied force. No? But we have also field or non-applied, which is remotely applied to the body, such as gravitational force. No? So, the gravitational pull, no? is a non-applied or contact, non-applied force. Na? So, non-contact force. So, a force may be external, which is observed, or acting or reacting forces, or maybe internal, which are the internal effect produced by the external forces. Okay? Uh, so, so I have said, yung mga external, yung makikita natin mga forces acting on the body nas nasa labas. Uh, pero, internally, may effect yan. No, pero, wala pa sa, ta, wala tayo niyan. No? As of now, there are no internal effects uh, considered here. We consider only the external effect. Okay. So, a force may be classified in the manner of distribution. No? So, it can be concentrated or distributed or uniformly or varying. So, we have here types of forces or loads. Na? So, pag sinabing concentrated load that is assumed to act on a relatively very small area that can be considered as a point. Na? So, a concentrated load is represented by this. Na? So, there is only one point of contact which is very small. Na? So, the force unit can be in Newton or in Pound. Na? Newton in SI, pounds in English. Uh, then, uniformly distributed load or what we call a triangular load. Na? Load that up over a considerable length and distributed uniformly over the environment uh, shown in the figure. 
Now, for the uniformly distributed load, the resultant R is located at the middle of the length. Uh, so, if the length is L, then the resultant is located at L over 4. Huh? Okay. So, we have here a uniformly varying load or what we call the triangular load. Huh? Uh, so, it increases in magnitude or decreases in magnitude. Huh? Starting with its value, then uniformly decreases to zero. Uh, so, the resultant is located at the centroid L over 3. Uh, then, but beside the load, uh, simply a combination of rectangular and triangular. Uh, so, take note, if you divide the trapezoid into rectangular and triangular, then we can have the resultant of each subdivision. Na? So, a force is a vector quantity and it has both magnitude and direction. So, we will adapt a sign convention for our force. Ha? Take note. So, forces directed upward and to the right are positive. Uh, while forces downward and to the left are negative. Uh, do not forget this. Uh, uh, so that when we have our computation, yung directed to the right and upward are taken positive. Directed to the left and downward are negative. Okay. So a force may be a push which is directed towards the body or a pull which is directed away from the body. So, the first one, which is a push, tend to compress the body and it's called a compressive force. So, this is a compressive force. No? So, this is directed towards the body. And the second tends to elongate the body, which is directed, directed outward, no? away from the body, which we call a tensile force. Now, the principle of transmissibility says that a force may be moved anywhere along its line of action without changing its external effects on a rigid body. Okay. So as what I have said in our discussion here, we will be considering external forces and the external effect of the force to the body. So in that case, the body or the force applied on the body can be placed anywhere along its line of action without uh, without changing the external effect on the body. Uh, so let's say, for example, if this is a block of wood, for example, and then you will push it by 20 kilonewtons, and this is what we call the line of action. Uh, so, of course, the effect, the external effect of the 20 kilonewton force to the block is that the block will move in this direction to the right. Huh? Okay. Now, if we transfer 20 kilonewton somewhere here, huh? so this is being transferred along the line of action. And what have you noticed? The external effect on the body is not changed. The body here still, or the block here still, move to the right. The same effect here. External, huh? I am talking about external effect. Uh, so that is what we call the principle of transmissibility. So meaning we can transfer the force as long as the external effect is not changed. Okay? Then we have here components of the force. So when you say component of a force, that is... A single force can be resolved into two components into a specified axis na, uh, with the same external effect on the given force. So, let us say if this is F and this is directed upward to the right at an angle of theta. Now, we can transfer Fy here. No? So, Fx is the horizontal component along x. Fy is the vertical component along y. And the 3 forms a triangle. And from the figure, our Fx is equal to F cosine of theta. And our Fy is equal to F sine of theta. And then, we can have the components of a force F not in rectangular na, way. Uh, so, if this is F, this is angle alpha. Then, I can transfer the other component here. I will call it Fy prime. 
this is fx prime na along the x prime and y prime axis components na okay so i have here a triangle and i can apply sine law uh, alam niyo pa ba yung sine law niyo na sa trigonometry uh, so sine law says that the ratio of a side to the sine of the opposite angle no are equal so we have here fx prime over sine beta equal to f over sine theta. And we have also fy prime over sine alpha equal to f over sine of theta. Uh, so we call this the sine law. Na? Marunong kayong mag-press ng sine function sa trigo calculator? Uh, pa kayo ng calculator, tingnan nyo yung mga trigo functions dyan. Trigonometry, ha? Uh, sine, cosine, and then tangent. Yung sin. Okay? Tingnan nyo yung calculator niya. Eh, okay. So, example. Given a force P equal to 250 newtons as shown in the figure. Uh, so, we have our P, 250 newtons. Angle 30 degrees with respect to X. Uh, then we have X prime. Then we have Y prime. Okay, number one. Find, y, find the Y component of P in newtons. Uh, find the component of P along the X prime axis and then find the component of P along the Y prime axis. Okay? So, unahin natin yung number 1. Component of Y along the or component of P along the Y axis. Uh, so, that is we will solve for Fy. Na? Uh, so, if this is our force P, this is 30. So, our Py is 250 sine of 30. Uh, so, if the force is F, then this is Fy. Uh, P man yung force. So, the component along Y is Py. 250 sine of 30. So, 125 newton. Okay lang. Kuha niya. Uh, then, this is our P, 250 newtons. Na? X prime, Y prime. Uh, so, kung balikan natin yung given, if this is 35, this, uh, this is 45, this is 30, so, the total angle between P and X prime is 75. Uh, then, we will transfer our Y prime here na, to form a triangle. Uh, na yan. So, this is 75. And then, if this is 75, this is... Pip, ah, no, this is not 90 degrees. Na. Uh, tingnan natin sa given ha. So, so, given, this is 20. So, this is 20. This is 75. The total here is 90. Between X and Y, this is 90. Uh, so, meaning, 90 minus 30 minus 20, this angle here is 40. Between P and Y prime. Huh? This angle is 40. So, kaya, when we transfer or when we draw our PY prime, this is 40 here. Huh? Uh, so, this is 40. Okay. So, 40. Then, 75 plus 40 is 105 or 115. Uh, so, this is 65. The total for the sum of the three angles of the triangle is 180. Alam nyo ba yan? Huh? So, if you have a triangle, the sum of the three angles is equal to 180. So, if this is 75, this is 40, this is 65. Okay? Uh, so, we can now apply our sine law. Yung sinabi ko kanina. Uh, so, Px prime over sine 40 equal to P over sine 65. Uh, so, Px prime over sine 40 equal to 250 over sine 65. So, Px prime is... 177.31 newton. Okay. Uh, then, Py prime, uh, ito na naman, uh, Py prime over sine 75 equal to P over sine 65. Uh, so, ang gita change lang dito, yung Py prime lang, or yung Px prime, replaced by Py prime over sine of 75. Yan. Uh, so, Py prime is 266.45. Uh, example to. 
A vertical force P is applied to the frame as shown in figure MEC-002. The component of P along AB is 120. Okay. So, the component of P along AB is 120. Uh, question. Find the value of P. Find the component of P along AC. Find the component of P along the horizontal. Okay. Yan na. Okay. So, the component of P along AB is 120. Uh, let me have the angles here. Okay. Uh, so, tingnan natin. Ha? Draw natin. So, this is AC 35. Uh, this is vertical. So, 90 plus... So, this is 35 na. Balik ka figure, ha? Okay. So, itong AC, 35. So, pag i-draw natin to dito, so, 70. So, this is also another 35. Ah, tingnan nyo, ha? I will draw a line which is parallel to AB. Here. Ah, if I will draw a line parallel to AB, so, this angle between AC and the line parallel to AB is 35 also. Huh? Ah, 35. Oh, kasi 70 man ba? So, pag ito 70, dito, ah, then this is 35. We have another 35 angle here. Okay? Ah, so, this is also 35. Huh? Ah, 35, 35. Claro? Play go, ha? Ah, 35, 35. Uh, so, recall natin yung geometry natin. Okay. So, 35, 35. The sum is 180. So, this is 110. Uh, so, this is P. This is the component of P along AB, 120. Uh, this is the component of P along AC. Uh, so, P over sine 35 is 120 over sine 35. So, P is 120. Uh, then, P AC over sine 110 um, equal to P over sine 35. So, PAC is 186.60. Okay. So, the third question, find the component of P along the horizontal. So, since P is vertical, what is the component of P along the horizontal? Uh, that is equal to 0. Eh? So, P has no horizontal component because that is purely vertical. Uh, similarly, if the force is horizontal, wala ka vertical component of the force. Uh, take note of that. Huh? Okay. Uh, then we have moment of a force. So, the moment of a force about a point is the tendency of the force to rotate the body about a reference. Uh, for example, if we have here a force P applied uh, to this plate, for example, then the tendency is that this plate will rotate about point A. Uh, so that is the moment effect. Huh? So the force there produces a moment about A. So it rotates the body about point A. Huh? So moment is rotational effect. While if you apply a force, possible it will move in the direction of the force. We call it a translational effect. Huh? Uh, for example, yung kanina, yung black, you push it to the right. Uh, so, the black moves to the right. So, that is a translation effect. Uh, but for this, uh, the for force P, when you apply it to the body, the body will rotate about point A. So, that is moment. Uh. So, the moment is defined as the force P multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Huh? Uh, so, alam niyo yung perpendicular distance. No? Uh, ito, 90 degrees to. Hindi itong distance na to. Hindi itong distance na to. Kasi hindi yung mga perpendicular distance. Itong distance na to. Ha? So, distance between the line of action of the force to the point where the body rotates. Ha? Uh, where the body or the force produce rotation. So, ito yung x. Uh, perpendicular distance. We call it the moment arm. Okay. So, I have here a problem. Ha? Ah, by the way, if the line of action passes through the point, there is no moment produced there. Ah, uh, because the moment arm is zero. 
So, moment is a vector quantity and then we will adapt a sign convention. So, clockwise moments, positive. Huh? So, counterclockwise moments, negative. So, the unit for moment is newton meter in SI. Uh, in English, that is foot pound. Huh? Uh, English units, huh? uh, English units. All the units in English, na huh? SI, so newton meter. Okay? So, we have that. So, principle of moment is used to find the, ano, uh, the principle of moment is, says that the moment of the parts is equal to the moment of the whole. Uh, so, let's say, ayan. Uh, so, the first F will produce a moment that is F times D. Now, let us say I will resolve into components F, I will resolve it into components Fx and Fy. So, Fx now has a horizontal distance or Fx has a perpendicular distance from A equal to Y. And Fy has a perpendicular distance from A that is equal to X. Huh? Line of action of Fy, line of action of Fx. Huh? Tignan nyo, Fx, the distance here is Y. Ito Fy, the distance here is X. Uh, ito F, the distance perpendicular is D. Okay. So, the principle of moment says that the moment produced by the resultant F is equal to the moment produced by the components. So, Fx times Y plus Fy times X. Huh? Uh, so, we have that. So, we call it Baranyun's theorem. So, again, ha, balikan ko. The force F times the dish equal to Fx times Y plus Fy times X. We call it Marinius theorem. Okay. Sample. Huh? Two forces F50 kN and 30 kN act on a rectangular plate as shown. Compute the moment at A. Compute the moment at B. Compute the moment at O. Okay. So, kung tingnan natin, itong A, there is, this is the point A. Na. So, have you noticed that when you apply the force F, the force F will produce clockwise rotation about point A? Na? Ah, apply force F. Kita niya? When you apply the force F, the tendency is that this plate will rotate clockwise. Na? So meaning F with respect to A will produce clockwise moment. And that is 50 times 1.2. Uh, have you noticed that when you apply the force P to the plate, na, act on a rectangular plate, if you apply P to the plate, this plate will rotate about point A in the counterclockwise direction. So meaning, P will produce counterclockwise moment. Uh, and from our sign convention, clockwise moment positive, counterclockwise moment negative, so... The total moment at A produced by the two forces F and P is equal to positive 50 times 1.2. Uh, then, minus 30 times 2.4. So, the moment at A is 12 kilonewton meter. Okay? And since this is negative, that means the rotation there or the moment is counterclockwise. Okay? Huh? Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. So, we have here, since the line of uh, compute the moment at B. Okay. So, pag mag-compute ka ng moment sa D, since the line of action of P passes through B, walang moment na ma-produce ang P. Uh, so, the moment produced only about B is due to F. Uh, so, the moment at B is equal to 50 times 1.2, 60 kN. Uh, positive, uh, meaning, that is clockwise moment ang ma-produce. Eh? So, tingnan nyo lang yung force, di ba? Have you noticed that F will produce rotation about B, which is clockwise. Okay? Uh, then, moment at O. Now, since the two forces pass through point O, so, these two forces will not produce rotation about point O. So, the moment at O is equal to 
zero. Okay. Couple. So couple is consists of two equal forces oppositely directed and separated by a perpendicular distance between them. Huh? So a couple produces moment which is equal to the product of one force times the perpendicular distance between the two forces. So C is equal to F times D. Product of one force times the distance between the two forces. Okay? Uh, so same sign convention, ha? Huh? Okay. Yeah, take note. In some problems, in some books, couple and moment mean the same. Uh, so, for example, what is the couple produced here? Uh, so, that is equal to 20 times 2. Huh? Uh, so, couple 20 times 2 equal to 40 kilometers meter. Okay? So, what is about our first topic to first uh, material and first activity okay so stay tuned for the next video huh? okay thank you for viewing